Hello, my name is Caroline Bridge. I'm a software developer at OICR, and today I will be presenting the JBrowse 2 Genome Browser, specifically the plugin store and how it can be utilized for visualizing cancer data and integrating biological annotations. JBrowse 2 is a genome browser with novel features for visualizing structural variants, synthetic alignments, and multiple types of genomic data. JBrowse 2 supports a variety of common data types and has the capacity to be extended to support any data type that a user might require. JBrowse 2 has been designed with a plugin framework that allows developers to extend existing JBrowse components and implement completely custom new ones. One of the most central components to the JBrowse 2 infrastructure are views. Views are easily built upon and added to JBrowse 2 through the plugin interface. What typically distinguishes a view is a novel representation of data. JBrowse 2 has a classic linear genome view, but it also has a variety of other robust visual representations of data. Take the circular view, which can show translocations between chromosomes and is supplemented in the structural variant inspector with a spreadsheet view that identifies each variant. This view is vastly different in form and function to the syntony view, which can be used to show collinearity between two distinct genomes. What's exciting about JBrowse and its support for plugins is not only does it have all of these views, but it easily supports third-party developers designing and installing their own plugins. If you're a developer, you can make your own custom view type. To facilitate community contributions to JBrowse 2 through plugins, we developed the plugin store. The plugin store is a one-stop shop interface for all plugins published with JBrowse 2 which readily exposes these rich feature sets to users with a searchable and comprehensive interface. A JBrowse 2 plugin registered with the plugin store can be added to a JBrowse instance with the click of the install button on both web and desktop instances of JBrowse 2. All users, not just admins, can add and remove plugins freely from their session to explore and experiment with a variety of tools. We can see here that once we click install on the MSA view plugin, we're given access to a brand new view that our plugin has made accessible through JBrowse 2's menuing. We're easily able to remove it should we wish through this interface on the plugin store. There are currently 10 community plugins registered with the JBrowse 2 plugin store, the functionality of which range from new renderer types, such as with the addition of Manhattan plot renderings shown here with the Genome-wide Association Studies plugin, to data adapters for genomic data resource APIs, such as with the Genomic Data Commons plugin. Now, to assist in cancer biology discovery, several plugins have been developed to connect JBrowse with various cancer data sets and resources. Chiefly, the GDC and ICGC plugins enhance a user's instance of JBrowse 2 with data adapters for the API endpoints for each of these data consortiums. New track types within these plugins are available for users to browse and filter the aggregate data directly within the application. There's also the BioThings plugin, which connects the APIs from resources such as MyVariantInfo and MyGeneInfo to JBrowse, which provides rich gene annotations from these data centers to a given session without extensive user configuration or intervention. Plugins of this nature connect large data resources to a user's data in JBrowse, where they can more easily draw conclusions and correlations among their own data in familiar visualizations. Contributions such as these directly connect interesting and useful tools that exist within the bioinformatics and molecular biology communities. Also deployed in the past year are plugins for integration with Reactome Pathway Analysis and an Ideogram view. Both plugins provide an instance of JBrowse with new views that reuse existing third-party JavaScript components to fetch and display data directly within JBrowse 2. The Reactome plugin using Reactome's Diagram.js and the Ideogram plugin using eWhites' Ideogram.js. Utilizing these plugins, biologists can provide an HGNC formatted list of genes of interest and have Reactome fetch and display the pathway analysis directly inside JBrowse, alongside a table representation of the same information. The gene list can also be annotated on the ideogram view, resulting in three data-rich representations of relevant information derived from Reactome. Because these views are embedded within JBrowse, all the retrieved data can be synergized with JBrowse components and, for example, can navigate to a given feature's location on a linear genome view. 
Now what if you wanted to make your own plugin? It's very simple to develop a plugin for JBrowse 2. It's recommended that prospective developers fork the template project on GitHub to simplify build steps and to have a model for adding new components to the plugin manager. On jbrowse.org, there exists extensive documentation regarding JBrowse's use of MobX Daytree, pluggable elements, and how each component works together both within a plugin and with the broader JBrowse application. Designing a new view type for JBrowse 2 through a plugin is as simple as building a JavaScript component. You can even embed external JavaScript components into a JBrowse view or extend upon an existing JBrowse view by creating a new render using extension points or the configure method of the plugin class. You can incorporate your favorite JavaScript libraries directly into JBrowse. Plugins can be used both on web and desktop JBrowse instances without any additional intervention by the developer. When your plugin is complete, you can either run it locally by adding it to your config file, or you can publish it to the community by making a pull request to JBrowse plugin list, where it will then appear in the plugin store. Regarding future work, the JBrowse team is eager to collaborate with and provide technical support to bioinformaticians, developers, and teams who wish to contribute their own visualizations, adapters, and other enhancements to JBrowse 2. I've got some links to the best places to find us at on the slide here. Community adoption and contributions are what make the plugin store powerful, so we'd love to chat. In summary, I have presented the capabilities of the JBrowse 2 plugin store and described some usage scenarios for cancer biologists, bioinformaticians, and software developers. I'd like to acknowledge the contributions of the JBrowse team at UC Berkeley and OICR and the funding agencies that support this project. Thank you.